Hey, hey, everybody, what's up? It's Baina. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk a little bit about uh, creating a sense of abundance within your home and kind of just, you know, curating little bits and pieces here and there. If you are a regular subscriber, subscriber you will notice that I'm in my Dallas apartment after spending a couple weeks in California, which is fabulous. So we're just kind of going back and forth for now, okay? We will keep you posted when things need to be posted, but for now, I am happy to report that this video is sponsored by a brand called Roses Forever, and they make those beautiful preserved roses that are so feminine and so rich, so therefore perfect for an abundant home and mindset. And I wanna show you guys what I have, what I got from them, which I am obsessed and talk a little bit about how I'm using it and also like some things that I've just done around my home to feel more abundant, to make it feel beautiful, even though this space is like not a space that I'm gonna be like completing like the decorating process, you know? It's kind of like minimal, we've like done a little bit, but in order for me to be happy, I still have to like have things that I like, but without going crazy, okay? So hopefully this video will inspire you to just maybe think a little bit more positively in terms of abundance, um, and also just give you guys some like practical tips on just making your house more cute and chic and rich feeling, okay? So first, let me just tell you a little bit about Roses Forever. They're a New York-based company, and they take natural roses and then use this natural oil do some kind of magic and then make them look like they're fresh for literally a year. So they're supposed to last up to a year. And I took my time trying to pick something out on this website because they were so pretty. Um, and it was basically, there's, you know, your typical kind of round hat box style, which is really gorgeous, um, black or white. I was kind of leaning towards the white at first. And then they also have square designs, which I thought were really cool. And then there's these Lucite boxes, which is what I ended up getting. And I'll show you guys close in a second. Um, but basically they are generously offering a $25 off. Okay, if you use my code and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So if you choose a pink bouquet, those are gonna be discounted and they will donate $2 to breast cancer research. So that's a win-win for everybody. I chose this box and this is their Lucite box and it actually is uh, a drawer, which is amazing, okay? Um, I went with the lilac. I'm so picky when it comes to color and style and I wanted to, I was hoping that these lilac roses would not be like too saturated or dark or like too like, cheapy looking, you know, I want them to look like rich and elegant. And I feel like this shade of lilac is perfection. I was also looking very seriously at the pink ones, but I felt like they looked almost a little too feminine. Um, I thought these were just a like tiny bit edgier, but still classic. So I went with these and I chose the 16. There's like a lot of different sizes. Actually the size down is actually a really cute size. But I measured it and everything and I thought it would be really convenient to have a box like this on my bedside so I could put things inside of here because my bedside is kind of getting busy with all these markers and pens and journals and books. So I thought this drawer could be a nice addition. So I decided to turn this into my wealth box, which goes right along with this idea of having an abundance mindset. So let me show you the things that I'm currently holding in my wealth box. Um, you probably can imagine that if you have a wealth box, the first thing that you're gonna put in that wealth box is some cold, hard cash. So we've got some cold, hard cash that we're putting in our wealth box. And you could, you could do anything. You could do a wealth box, you could do a love box, you could do a health box. Anything I think that you want to bring more into your life and be sort of reminded about in a wonderful way that makes you feel good when you see it, okay? Thus creating good vibes for the thing you want, could be done. You could do a box like this, you could do a beautiful box, anything. So I put this money in here. I sold something on Facebook Marketplace and the guy was really cool and he gave me all the cash. So I just put it right in there. So it's got like good exchange, good vibes on the money. And then, oddly enough, I have such weird, wonderful friends um, my friend, he collects like currency from all around the world. And I just like checked the mail one day and inside were these actually gorgeous Venezuelan notes, which are so pretty and in my signature color. So 
So these are going right in there. Hopefully these will be worth something one day. You never know, you never know. So we're putting those in there. And then I also have like kind of a collection of like some stones and crystals and things. And I, I, when I see something that just catches my eye, I pick it up. So I got this one. I don't know what the stone is called. I probably, I did at the time when I got it, but it's got this green and purple. And you can tell behind me, like I am currently attracted to green and purple. And it is, those colors are associated with wealth. When I was looking at the flower option, I was actually really attracted to the black. There's some super cool black on black ones that looked very chic, but I had to think about my interior design as well. And like, okay, is that really gonna go with my bedding or my bed? No, it wasn't. So I went with this and I'm really happy. It's making me feel great. And I definitely feel that it's attracted some new energy and movement and growth for me. Things are opening up for me and I'm feeling good, which is an indication that you're on the right track. If you feel good, you're on the right track. Another thing, keeping your home clean and clutter free is, is crucial. And one of the things I've talked about on this channel is like selling things, you know, like if you buy cool vintage stuff, you can easily sell it on a Facebook marketplace and get your money back, okay? There does come a point though in trying to resell your old stuff where it becomes very low vibe and not abundant at all. And I found myself actually experiencing that when I was trying to sell like old art and just, I think when I have sometimes these vintage accessories that are like, I personally liked because they were like quirky, like not everybody gets it. And I feel like here in Texas, people don't, respond as well to some of my picks. Anyway, I had a bunch of stuff on there priced anywhere from $25 to $100. And I just kept getting these dumb messages back and forth and haggling. Nobody can just pay the price. They've all, they, I have to get, you know, and they'd be low balling. And it just became such a drag that I was actually making me feel like very like, ugh. And then every time I'd open that closet, I'd still see that pile of junk. And I thought, okay, what does the abundant by Ema do? We're gonna keep trying to get every dollar out of this thing or like can we just like donate this stuff clear it out okay we don't need this this isn't make it making or breaking us let's get it out so i did that and i feel so much better about the whole situation someone's gonna find it and they're gonna love it and they're gonna get a great deal and i don't need it anymore i don't need it because i actually prefer my home to be filled minimally with things that really make me excited this being one of them and i feel like when you have things that you really love you're able to see them and appreciate them more when you actually create more negative space and clear out the stuff that's like Neh, you know where we all make mistakes or get over things and we can need to get those out of our life so having a clean home and decluttering is part of that abundance mindset another thing that i've just personally started to do in my life also is just like be more generous okay if you're like abundant you're gonna be more generous and it should be good generosity, not generosity to manipulate or whatever. But I just found myself more willing to um, be generous with friends, maybe pick up a meal or do something. It reminds you like, oh, I'm blessed, I have things. And that, if that mindset will bring you more opportunities like that. This is not my forever home. Like I'm not going to fully decorate this, but I still need to be happy in this space. And so just cultivating little, curated areas of things that I look at are fresh and make me happy. That Those are like kind of like what I'm doing rather than the full decorating process. And I feel like that's a good solution for anybody who's in a situation like me where you're kind of like in that in between. You still like love design and like crave that good vibe. Like, you know, if you're like, in that weird time, it can be challenging too. And like the last thing you want to be doing is living in sort of a sort of depressed place. So get rid of that low vibe crap. Sometimes you have to just like get rid of stuff, get a few new things in that make you feel fresh and new and fabulous and feminine. Okay. Um, so if you guys want to check out roses forever, they're offering $25 off any bouquet. Okay. Use my code. I'm going to list it here and also in the description box. And I think like these make an amazing gift. Like us, there are times in our lives where you want to give people special, unique gifts of some amount of money. Okay. You know, your maid of honor, a best friend, someone who's been there, someone who went through breast cancer, like it is classy, elegant, and abundant to give high quality gifts to people when they are needed in certain stages of life. So I would highly recommend checking out this company. I would highly recommend trying to make your own wealth or health box. I, I, I don't know if I've curated that idea or it's, it's already been there, out there and done. 
Um, if you like the video, feel free to hit like, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.